Burger King. Item number, SCP-4187. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. All roads leading to SCP-4187 are to be diverted away. SCP-4187-1 is to be fed three adult heifers daily, and SCP-4187-2 is to be monitored daily for food expulsion. Description SCP-4187 refers to a Burger King restaurant located in blank, Missouri, a town with a former population of 1,287. SCP-4187 consists of two symbiotic entities, hereafter referred to as SCP-4187-1 and SCP-4187-2. SCP-4187-1 is a hostile, nocturnal entity that resembles a Burger King roadside sign. SCP-4187-1 is capable of movement through spontaneous spatial displacement. Nightly, SCP-4187-1 disappears and reappears in front of the closest living mammal to it. It then extends a thin, vascular appendage from the blue circle of the sign, which it uses to puncture the victim's brain, placing it in a vegetative state. The appendage then exsanguinates the prey, before using it to constrict the victim, and oftentimes, its surroundings. SCP-4187-1 lifts its victim up and places it in a set of jaws that extends from the two buns on the sign. SCP-4187-1 then devours the victim before wiping its jaws with the appendage, releasing a noise measuring at 110 decibels. After feeding, it reappears at its previous spot outside SCP-4187-2 before returning to an inactive state, akin to a standard Burger King roadside sign. SCP-4187-2 is the designation of the restaurant building itself. A customer can order at a self-serve kiosk inside, and the ordered food is released from a chute titled Whopper Popper. The released foods bear a resemblance to common Burger King menu items, such as Whoppers, chicken nuggets, or chicken club salads. However, these items are comprised entirely of the diet of SCP-4187-1. Exploration of SCP-4187 is indefinitely postponed following Incident A-2. Document 1. Testing Log. Date. 7th of October, 2034. Items produced. One Angry Whopper, one medium-sized French fry box, and one medium drink. Composition. The patty of the burger consisted of chicken meat. The box of French fries contains an edible fries composed of hen femurs, and the drink is the liquefied gastrointestinal tract of a common rooster. Date. 8th of October. 2034. Items produced. 1. BK Quad Stacker Burger. The burger was discontinued nearly 25 years prior to the testing date. Composition. The burger patty was a mix of mutton and chicken breast meat. The burger buns consisted of dog meat. Date. 9th of October, 2034. Items produced. One package of onion rings. Composition. The rings were fried ribs of a common domestic dog. Date. 10th of October, 2034. Items produced. One chicken club salad. Composition. The meat of the salad was beef. The lettuce consisted of thin sheets of keratin, while the sauce was coagulated milk. Date: 11th of October, 2034. Items produced. One medium drink, one medium package of fries. 
decomposition. Trace remains of clothing were found floating in the cup. Scraps read, D. D's. Little boy. The fries were consistent with plastic used in children's outdoor toys. Note. Due to the ambiguous nature of how SCP-4187-1 and a dash 2 were able to transmit prey from SCP-4187-1-2-2, an unmanned drone armed with a mechanical arm, knife, and flashlight were sent in. An abridged video log is attached below. Exploration A1 Begin abridged log The drone approaches SCP-4187-2 during daylight at 6.30 in the morning. Utilizing its arm, it opens the door. To the left of the main entrance is a double door labeled Employees Only. The counter is covered by a large metal panel, out of which sticks the self-serve kiosk. Flying over to the counter, it taps in an order for one Whopper with fries at the kiosk. Approximately five minutes later, the Whopper Popper releases a takeout bag. The drone retrieves it and cuts away a sample of both items for lab analysis at command. It then returns the items to the popper. The drone is then maneuvered through the double doors, opening to a tunnel with no end in sight. The drone continues through the tunnel for approximately five hours. During this time, the tunnel appears to lead sharply downwards. The Whopper Popper's tube continues down the tunnel, as a large white tube at the top of the tunnel. Small white tubes network off the tube, downwards into the floor. After this time, two large doors are at the end of the tunnel, labeled Kitchen. The doors are pink, and appear to only open one way. The drone is unable to enter without damaging its rotors. It uses its knife to slice open a section of the doors, then flies through after approximately 10 minutes of struggling. As it does so, it flies directly into the kitchen. The kitchen appears old and abandoned, with meat and other animal byproducts feeding into a large white tank. The tank produces a grinding noise and expels a Burger King takeout bag from a hopper on its rear side. The drone cuts out a sample of the salad inside, until a loud rattling noise is heard. The drone's camera captures fries interweaving in the space that it cut out of the wall. Tomatoes and an unidentified red liquid are seen streaming out of the hole. The drone collects a section of the fries, before it flies out of the hole, as the fries finish patching, with the location of the cut returning to normal. The drone continues on its way back up the tunnel, until it is retrieved by Foundation personnel. Description of samples collected are attached below. Collected Sample Whopper Meat Notes Tenderness was consistent with human meat. Three fries Consisted of deep-fried human phalanges of the hand. A leaf of lettuce and a piece of chicken from a club salad. The lettuce consisted of layers of human cuticle. The piece of chicken was comprised entirely of keratin. Section of Kitchen Door The door consists of beef, behaving as epithelial acid-resistant tissue. Fries The fries are consistent with Burger King fries, but are animate behaving similar to eukaryotic hemoglobic thrombocytes. Note, due to the nature of recent orders produced by SCP-4187-2, as well as the evidence retrieved by the Foundation drone, a force of four Foundation agents, watched by one command post, were ordered to explore the restaurant to report on its transport system between SCP-4187-1 and SCP-4187-2. An abridged transcription of the video log recorded by Scion 4's body cam can be found below. Exploration A2 Team Details MTF Scion 12 Deep Friars Psi 1 Edward Brathel, 
demolitions expert. Psi 2, Alfred Willis, chemist. Psi 3, Pedro Ruiz, medic. Psi 4, Jim Myers, team lead. Start abridged log. All right, equipment check. Games up and running. Radio's going. Flares ready. Weapons check. All clear for me, Jimbo. Same here. Seems like everyone's fine, Psy-4. Fly on four to base, do you read? Loud and clear, Kabish. Proceed. The group enters the restaurant with four at the rear. Upon entrance, a mechanical pumping and grinding can be heard from behind the kitchen, but no other sounds are audible. A large metal panel covers the counter space, with tubes running up and down it, which travel into the ceiling. A whoosh can be heard before a small takeout bag pops out of one of the chutes. Food looks fine. Edible at least. E, did you not read the fucking briefing? That shit could be made out of anything. And considering how empty the town seems to be, it's most likely people. Or metal. Of course I read the damn briefing. Though I didn't pick it up, idiot. Remember, you're only here for observation, not as a taste tester. This isn't Costco. Psy 2 moves over to the windows, which appear segmented and made of many smaller, hexagonal panels of glass. Those are some weird windows. Stop ogling at glass, Al. Let's just keep going. The team examines the lobby of the restaurant further, finding nothing of note. All right. Everything seems to be going on back there. Al, Joe, weapons ready and go. Psy 2 and Psy 3 open the swivel door to the employees only area. A long tunnel leads towards darkness. Spooky. Very spooky. The four begin walking. The brick stones and tubes which hold up the walls begin to become bleached as they continue downwards. Strange. These walls are... puffy. And these tubes are massive. Bunch of them, snaking down everywhere. If we're all meeting up... here. As they continue, Psy 3 stops. I am never going to a Burger King again. Christ. Big Mac all the fucking way now. At least they don't eat me. A loud groan can be heard before moisture begins to drip from large holes in the ceiling. Anyone else noticing that there's, uh, water here? Or something? And it's slimy. As he continues forward, a rattling can be heard from the tubes. Swiveling his flashlight up, Psy 2 shines a beam on large pieces of lettuce. Shining the beam down, he continues. Foundation Review noted the lettuce's amoeba-like, shifting structure. Sonar tells me there's gonna be a small door ahead of you guys. There it is in all its glory! The team comes upon the kitchen doors. Psy 1 enters by squeezing through, followed by Psy 4, Psy 2, and Psy 3. Yuck. As they enter, the grinding sound grows louder. Body cam footage reveals the presence of a standard commercial kitchen, albeit devoid of any appliances. A large machine is in the back. The place is fully stacked. Like people just up and left. No one's been here for a long ass time, but there's still fresh lettuce? This... I don't like this at all. Look at this! Cyvor points to the large tank in the back. The machine features a large hopper, connected to the overhead tubes, spitting out ground-up ingredients onto a conveyor belt. Shoes. Metal. 
unidentified meat and wood can be seen flowing onto the belt into a funnel. Tsai One moves to the output area, where the finished food is put into the pneumatic tubes seen earlier. The food is not whisked away, however, allowing for Tsai Two to pick it up and examine it. The camera catches a metallic glint from the box of fries, which appear to be moist, eaten away, and gray. Looks fine. A regular old box of gray stringy fries. Upon closer examination, he quickly tosses it away. A long, stringy object is caught on his arm. What the fuck? That's a shoelace! So that's where everyone went. The entire town. Just. eaten. Sorry, right, three, can you strike that rusty pedal, please? We still have yet to know exactly how that machine works. Sai 3 picks up his gun and begins to strike the body of the machine with the stock of his rifle. As he's pulled back by Sai Wan, he strikes the machine's panel once more. It falls away, revealing a pinkish, fleshy mass. It's not a fucking machine. Please retrieve a small sample. Sai 3 carves the fleshy mass, cutting a hole in its side. A yellow liquid starts flowing out, melting the fallen panel. A low rattling can be heard from the ingredient containers. What the fuck did you do? Weapons ready. Evacuate. We found the source. We'll get others to deal with this. A loud reverberating groan can be heard. Two boxes of lettuce latch onto Sai One's back, before breaking them down using an acid similar to the one out of the machine. A frothy substance is excreted by the boxes as Sai One screams. Go, go, go! A final frame of the body cam shows Sai One inside one of the leaves of lettuce, which has expanded to his size and is breaking him down. Come this, this place isn't doing what I think it is, is it? Shut up and move! Their way is blocked by massive burger buns. These buns excrete sesame seeds onto the trio, before melting into the same yellow acid as before. Foundation analysis finds these sesame seeds bearing a strong resemblance to immunoglobulin E. The buns are torn apart by rifle fire. It's trying to kill us. We just have to make it out now, guys. This shit made them start swarming. They're coming quickly! As they continue, a scream can be heard. Psy 3 is being ground to a pulp by the walls, which are constricting and attempting to push him toward the kitchen door. As he's pulled through the door, a low grumble can be heard. Psy 2 attempts to fire a few shots, but it does nothing to the walls. Shit, shit, shit! Kamesh, what are we gonna do? Run, Drew, just fucking run! We get out of here and we run! The employee's only door comes in sight. Cypher is able to make it through, but before he can, a muffled thump is heard. Turning around, the body cam catches a glimpse of the floor rising up. Blue, throbbing veins can be seen, before the muscular floor pushes Sai 2 back towards the doors. On the way down, the floor strikes Sai 2 against a thick, low-hanging outcrop, which causes another loud groan. Sai 2 is rendered unconscious according to biomonitors, and body cam footage reveals his breaking down by the lettuce soon after. Fuck. Sai 4 loads his rifle. Go to hell! Sai 4 shoots the outcrop, as well as the floor. The floor begins to move again, releasing moisture from the tunnel onto Sai 4, and attempting to throw him backwards into the tunnel. Sai 4 fires rounds from the doorway, rendering the floor immobile, before turning his attention to the outcrop and tunnel. Sai 4 eventually runs out of rounds. I'm empty. 
He sits down on a table. Loud clanging can be heard before a takeout bag shoots out of the Whopper Popper. Psy4 goes over to it and opens it. Body cam footage reveals a large, tightly packed brown object bearing resemblance to a massive patty. The patty contains three body cams, not recording. The fucking burger ate them all. The metal shutters are closed and opened again on the windows of the restaurant. Fuck. Psy4 exits SCP-4187-2. And I can hear it. I can hear something. Due to nightfall, Psy4 turns on his flashlight. A loud metal groaning can be heard. Psy4 looks up, and the body cam captures a brief flicker of light. All biometrics cease soon after. The final transmission of his body cam is attached below. End log.